Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. I want to talk for a few minutes today about the latest transparent, unvarnished corruption by Donald Trump in firing yet another inspector general, this time Steve Linick, the um, State Department inspector general, because he's lost confidence, President Trump tells us, in Mr. Linick. You know, an inspector general is an independent person and organization that is supposed to oversee various uh, agencies or departments in the federal government to look for fraud, waste, abuse, corruption, and crime. And for Donald Trump to say, I keep firing these inspectors general because I lose confidence in them, that's like a criminal who says, I'm losing confidence in the cop who's investigating me, so I want the cop fired. It's absurd. It's transparent. It's corruption. Let's talk about some of these inspectors general that Donald Trump has fired because he's lost confidence in them. Michael Atkinson, remember him? The inspector general for the intelligence community who reported out to Congress the whistleblower complaint. You remember the one, the one that outed President Trump as having bribed President Zelensky of Ukraine saying, I'm not giving you these defense funds that were appropriated by Congress unless you do me a favor, though, and announce a false investigation into Joe Biden. That's, that's soliciting a bribe, plain and simple. Michael Atkinson outed that information, and it resulted in Donald Trump being impeached. Donald Trump lost confidence in Michael Atkinson and fired him. Who was Michael Atkinson? A career public servant. In fact, he was a fraud and public corruption prosecutor in my former office, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Columbia. I worked with Michael, a strong, honest, ethical, circumspect, straight-up guy. President Trump lost confidence in him. How about another inspector general that Donald Trump fired, Glenn Fine. What was Glenn Fine supposed to be doing as inspector general? Well, he was named to conduct oversight of how the Trump administration was going to spend the $2.2 trillion coronavirus relief package. Glenn Fine was going to make sure that Trump and company spent that money honestly, ethically, lawfully, fairly. And Donald Trump lost confidence in Glenn Fine and fired him. And who was Glenn Fine? Career public servant, inspector general for the Department of Justice for more than 10 years. After that, Inspector General for the Department of Defense, honorable, honest, ethical, career, public servant. Donald Trump lost confidence in him and fired him. The latest firing of an Inspector General is Steve Linick. Can I read you just a little bit of Steve Linick's bio before we talk about what Donald Trump did? Steve Linick started out as a prosecutor in the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office. He then became a federal prosecutor and assistant United States Attorney in California for five years. After that, he moved to the Eastern District of Virginia U.S. Attorney's Office, where he was a federal prosecutor for another seven years. He then moved over to the Department of Justice, where he was the Deputy Chief of the Fraud Section, and he was named the Executive Director of the Department of Justice National Procurement Fraud Task Force for four years. He then worked as an Inspector General, first with the Federal Housing Finance Agency and for the last seven years at the State Department. You think that's the kind of person Donald Trump wants poking around in his business? So what else do we know about Steve Linick? Well, we know that he was the person who took that packet of documents that Rudy Giuliani ginned up and gave to Mike Pompeo. Steve Linick took those documents and provided them to the House Judiciary Committee, to Jamie Raskin. By the way, Steve Linick recently opened an investigation into Mike Pompeo. And it's being reported that Mike Pompeo advised Donald Trump that he should get rid of Steve Linick. You know, like I said, folks, this is like a cop saying, a criminal saying, I've lost confidence in the cop who's investigating me, 
So I want the cop fired. Well, by the way, I want my brother to be chief of police. Or it's like a student who gets caught by his teacher cheating. And then the student says, I've lost confidence in the teacher and tries to get somebody to weigh in and fire the teacher. This is absurd. It's corruption, plain and simple. We all know it. What should be done now? Because we always have to look for a solution. First of all, Congress should subpoena Mr. Linick and let him testify about what was going on inside the State Department and about how he was investigating Pompeo and how he was promptly fired thereafter. Then Congress should subpoena Mike Pompeo. Let Mike Pompeo explain the fact that he knew he was being investigated by Steve Linick, a long-time career public servant, prosecutor, somebody who attacks fraud and public corruption as both a federal prosecutor and an inspector general. And he starts investigating Mike Pompeo, and all of a sudden Donald Trump loses confidence in him. Come on, come on. And if Mike Pompeo doesn't show up, after being served lawfully, legitimately, with a congressional subpoena. For goodness sake, Congress, please exercise your inherent contempt authority. Because if you don't stand up for us, you're letting us down. We all know and we all appreciate that you're working on coronavirus relief packages. But you also have to work on the runaway, rampant, corruption and lawlessness of Donald Trump and company. Folks, as always, stay safe, stay coronavirus free, and I look forward to talking with you again soon.